-hmm. auditory test kit uh, to test for short-term memory. Yes. I think it's at the very bottom. So that's something that really can help you think differently about your child, especially if they're just having trouble staying on task and focusing and uh, you're, you just don't understand why they're not following directions the way they should and you you can't figure out why they don't act age appropriate. Those kinds of things come from low auditory processing. Mm -hmm. So I've got a, this page that you're showing here is a, a good overview of what auditory processing is if you're not familiar with it. I used to call it the best kept secret in education. <laughs> But now it's gotten so bad in our society that the, there's all kinds of labels associated with it. But I think this one thing is combined uh, in, in so many different labels that uh, this is the root of many of the functional things like in ADD and ADHD. So there's a free test kit here on the website that they can download and they can get uh, that those instructions and actually test their children at home for that particular thing and it's, it's really a, a an easy fix and globally will help the child um, mm -hmm. better yeah so those of you that are listening on our podcast um, it's littlegiantsteps.com um, slash auditory dash processing and so that's on Jan's website you can find it there and then if you also watch our our YouTube video, all, all those links will be on there as well as I'm going to post all these links on the, the feed after we're done as well. So you can just click them and you don't have to try to type them all in for yourself. But um, so we have a question, Jan, are you okay jumping to that before we head on? Sure. Um, Amy had asked, um, our OT mentioned some primitive reflexes that are still active in our seven and a half year old who has mm -hmm. ASD and sensory issues. Is this something that you address? Yes, and that's interesting that you um, mentioned the primitive reflexes because that's become a real thing recently. Uh, when I first started, we didn't have much of talk about primitive reflexes. But what we found, I mean, we do address those as specifically as needed. But you know what we found out is if we really take the children through all the developmental steps mm -hmm. that we take them through um, with this kind of program, those reflexes just integrate like they oh. normally do, you know, mm -hmm. in, in typical developing kids. So oftentimes we don't have to do a lot of reflex work just because we've gone through all of those steps. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. Thank you for asking that, Amy. That's good information. Yeah, so. good, good question. 